things. My uh, wife and I have five children. My eldest son uh, went on to be uh, captain of his high school football team. He was the quarterback. Uh, he was captain of the rugby team. He was a good athlete. He was a good student. And he's a great young man. I sat him down his ninth grade year. And I said to him, I said, son, I don't care about your grades. I really don't care what grades you get. And you know, this kind of smile, he's 14 years old, comes on his face and says, hey, this is going to be pretty easy. I like this. The pressure is off. And I said, oh, no, no. It's far worse than what you think. It's much more difficult because I don't care about your grades. What I care about is your attitude and your effort. You see, son, attitude and effort are everything. It's more important than natural talent. It's more important than natural intelligence or smarts. You will succeed more on attitude and effort than you will on natural ability or smarts. I said, so if you come home with, let's say, a, a, a D, you know, a D plus, a C minus, a D, whatever. I don't believe in Fs. I've often said that an F is more difficult to achieve than an A. I mean, you've got to be dedicated, single-minded, focused to fail. Our school system doesn't want to fail anybody. I mean, you really have to dedicate yourself to be a failure in school. Uh, it's, I, I, I believe it. It's, more, it's tougher to get an F than an A. But I said, let's say you come home with a D in a class. And you look me in the eye and you say, Dad, this is the best that I can do. I did everything I could. I did all my homework. I never missed a class. I went to the teacher afterwards and asked for help. I got a tutor. I asked you for help. Uh, I did everything I possibly could. And Dad, this is the best I can do in this subject. I'm okay with that. How can I ask you to do more than you are absolutely, honestly capable of doing? I'm simply asking you to do your personal best. But you come home with an A in a class, son, and you say, you know, Dad, I didn't do anything. That was just a piece of cake. I sloughed class. I was the teacher's pet. You know, I just slid by and I got an A. I said, you and I got a real serious problem. I don't care about the A. I care about the attitude. I care about the effort. I care about the work ethic. That you do everything you can. You see, I tell the Highland Rugby boys, don't waste a lot of time comparing yourself to other people. I don't care who you are or what you do. You're going to find someone who's bigger, faster, stronger, smarter, richer, or whatever. What you have to do is focus on you. Compare yourself to yourself of where you are today and where you want to be tomorrow. And that's the key, that you do your best. Now, I do believe in using other people as examples to motivate me and inspire me, you know, to, to help me pick myself up off the ground, help me to wipe my bloody nose and keep going when it gets tough, you know. I, I read some stories of the adversities and challenges and problems that people have, and I'm just in awe of how they can overcome such obstacles in their life. That's the type of person I want on the Highland rugby team. That's the type of young man that I want as a finished product. And so we tell them, attitude and effort are everything. And whatever you do, be it school, relationships, a job, rugby, football, basketball, a social life, anything. No regrets. You see, there's only two types of pain in life. There's the pain of hard work. And there's the pain of regret. One is temporary and will make you a better person. And you will be grateful for that pain of hard work. The other never goes away. You have regrets that you can do nothing about. You have a regret of losing, but see, you don't have a regret if you get beat by our definition. It's the pain of hard work and the pain of regret.
attitude and effort are everything. One, focus on the final score of your life. Two, no regrets. Leave it all on the field and you walk off with your head held.